Well, hello again. It's Joe with Sonically Disruptive. So I'm here to review the latest record by Burning Rain called Face the Music. It's released on March 22nd, just a couple weeks. What? You've never heard of Burning Rain? Okay, so they didn't get tons of radio airplay in between spins of Everclear and Fuel at the time. Their music didn't necessarily fit in with the times. So... You're not alone. In fact, I just learned about Burning Rain in, uh, what was it, 2013, I think, when they released a record called Epic Obsession, which is a very good record. Now, Burning Rain is, for the most part, you have Doug Aldridge, who's the lead guitarist in Dead Daisies. He's XDO, X White Snake. You also have Keith St. John, who's a fantastic vocalist. And what you end up with here is the best Whitesnake album since their classic 87 album. Okay, I'm kidding somewhat. But that's definitely the vibe you get here. That is the feel here. Now, if you like some good high adrenaline, dirty hard rock that just makes you feel good, well, that's what you get here. If you're tired of politics, tired of work, the kids, whatever, this is an excellent distraction. You may hear this and think that this doesn't sound valid in this day and age. And uh, yeah, it is valid because in a time with so much heaviness, this makes you feel something. This makes you feel good. This makes you feel excited. And in the end, music should make you feel something. It doesn't always have to make you feel enlightened or make you aware of social issues. Sometimes, maybe you just want to rock out and play some air guitar. There's some fantastic songs here. Keith's voice shines throughout this entire record, and Doug Aldridge is a monster here. These are the best riffs since, I don't know when. They are absurdly good. If you're of a certain age, it's going to make you feel 20 years younger listening to it. And if you're young, enjoy yourself and have a little fun. It's okay. Production-wise, the whole thing sounds fantastic. It sounds bright. It sounds loud and is very dynamic. And okay, the guitars are cranked up fairly loud here, but that's exactly what should happen when the plan is this phenomenal. Standout tracks? Perhaps the entire record. Um, really... But Loreline is fantastic, Face the Music, Long Beautiful Road. Now, this is primarily going to play for the hair metal fans, that type of crowd. And I get it, it does fit in there. But it's kind of a shame because if you could get over that label, you may be able to enjoy some great, feel-good hard rock. So I can see going back to this record again and again and again when I am looking for that type of a distraction. I love progressive music. I love some ambient music. I love stuff that's out there and really pushes the edges. But sometimes I want to get out of my own head and rock out. And when I want to do that, this at the moment is my go-to. Give it a shot. So anyway, if you want to rock out, you want some great guitars... Give this a listen. Let me know what you think about it when you get a chance to hear it. And thank you so much for watching. See ya.